I know, right? Back so soon? Yes. We're here with all my Hubsons, but we're going to talk about the Hubson Mini, the one with the black arms. Some people don't believe there is one. There is. There's so many variations of the Hubson Minis, okay? We've got the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro that comes in four flavors, really. The Hubson Zeno Mini Pro 64 gigabyte, the Hubson Mini Zeno Pro 128, the Hubson Zeno Mini, which is this without the obstacle avoidance, 64 gig, and the same with 128. We then have the Hubson Zeno Mini SE. Difference is one over 1.3 camera, one over 2.6. What does this have? A one over 1.3. Same camera as this. So what do these have in common? They're all made by Hubson. They're all very, very different. Okay, but what do these two have in common? They have a 1 over 1.3 camera, yes. Now, ironically, this, and I'll show you some slides here. We're talking PID settings, okay? The gimbal, um, the gimbal settings, the, the way to adjust pitch and roll and all this very, very minute differences, how it handles weather and shake. And if you get a shaky gimbal, you adjust the pids and it straightens them out. But it's more for something for Hubson to do rather than you. There is a Hubson tool. It used to be in the Google App Store. I can't find it. I had to go to APK Pure to, to get it. But I got it and I figured it out. So. The Hubson Zeno Mini Pro has different PIDs than the standard Hubson Mini and the standard Hubson Zeno Mini SE. However, this and this share the same PIDs. I don't know why, because it's a completely different camera. It probably weighs more dimensionally, everything else. So why would you give it the same gearing support system, if you will. If, if you think of the PIDs as a support system, finely tuned and adjusted to take out shake, rattle, and roll, that's what you're talking about. So, I went online and I tried to search it out what I've done. Hubson gave me last year an idea, oh, just change this PID, and I've got a video, and I'll put the video up here, I think, yeah. and. Uh, it's all about the pits. Nothing ever worked. I asked for help. Nothing really worked. I always got jello on a straight shot. I always got a little waver of jello. And on yaw, I always got dropped frames and stuff like that. So I wasn't too happy about that. There are other issues, but the main ones were that. I could never be 100% bang on with a video. So I decided today I'd look into this. So I'll put up here all the PIDs for all these three. Stock, if you get an update, this is what they are stock, okay? And again, ironically, these two share the same PID, even though it's a different camera. So I said, well, what if I put these PIDs on this machine? And that's what I did. So here's the pictures of all the PIDs. And when I got them transferred onto here, it's a simple process. You put in the numbers, save settings, and save the whole thing, and away you go. And anyway, it's pretty simple. I, I do have another uh, video all on that as well, okay, on how to use the Hubson tool. I'll put that up here. Okay. So when I installed the PIDs onto this, same ones as these, okay, took it up for a flight. Ironically, when I did change the PIDs, everything looked great on the stand. I did it on the bench. I did it in just outside the garage, inside the garage here. And it looked pretty good, very stable. I didn't fly it. I just sat it there because with this and these, you don't have to fly to see the video. This you do. You can't do anything about video or pictures until you're up in the air. These you can. Okay. So it looked Looked pretty good. Okay, I might turn it off. 
it started to rain. It's misty, it's foggy, it's overcast, it's it, horrible. So I waited about an hour, okay? Then cleared up a bit while it stopped raining. It was still foggy and misty and not a very nice day, but we decided to take it up anyway. So I'm going to run that video in its entirety, okay? You can skip to the end, you can watch a minute of it or whatever and go right to the end or whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter to me. But um, you judge for yourself. You tell me if it's any better, okay? I think it is. I think it's marketably better, okay? Maybe some saturation issues, and I was playing a lot. I did play a lot with um, exposure values on the fly and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah, not the best cinematic, okay? But I just want to get an idea throw a whole bunch of crap at it and see what would happen, okay? So here's that video with the new PIDs that are basically these PIDs on this machine, and we'll see what happens, okay? Let's roll it. The home point has been updated. Please be mindful of the new return to home point. Okay, let's see if there's any difference. Over a bit. It's better when we got 79. Okay. Let's get uh, this. And we'll get it up there. Okay, up we go. Let's start that video. Bring it down some more. We're up to 20, 30. I'm going to go to 40 anyway, 45. So this is running the same PIDs as Hubson Xeno Mini Pro. Okay, and we've upped. Let's just do a little circle around here. Go forward. Slow it down a bit. Faster. Okay, it is extremely overcast. So let's see if we get any jello in this. It's a little bright. We'll turn around. You'll notice that I can't change EV once I'm starting a video. But it is a little bright. Stop there. Look at the EV values. Can I change them? Oh, I can. Yep. Zero. Well, it'd be interesting to see what happens on that video. Come forward, do we have jello? We'll see, it is overcast and mucky, so we'll have to have a brew and have a look.
as you can see when I raise it up it is very overcast and cloudy now if I lock it in can I lock this in Let's see if I can lock this in here I've locked that in so let's see what happens bring it up yeah that is better isn't it yeah a lot better okay So we locked it in. Okay, turn around. I'm interested in the yaw as well. Let's see if we can drop that. Okay, so we go back to here, unlock it, two points down, okay, we lock it here, lock it on that, let's see what happens there, forward, you see that uh, I think the saturation is off, okay, yeah. It's oversaturated, I think. Let's just see what happens if we can unlock that. It is unlocked. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to drop it even more. Okay, and then we're going to lock it. Okay, I'm going to go down. I also 100, so that's better than last time. Let's go up to 62. Or 70. Come home. Won't be able to tell until I've uh, seen this video, but I haven't seen anything on it. I haven't seen any gel or anything, so I'll have to wait and see. I know this, um, the pits don't affect the quality of the image, it's strictly for the gimbal tells it how the motor works. I'm going to go in and check when I come back to see exactly what the PIDs are. Okay, and we're out about 120 meters or so. Where are we? Must be us right about here. If I look down, it should be the house. Almost, I just gotta come over a bit. There we go, let's bring her down. There we are, right above us. There we go. And what I like to do is I like to land it because it's all wet and soaking. I'm not going to land it in the grass. And I'm not going to... There we go. But uh and I'm not going to land it in the uh, driveway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to land it on... Well, I'm not going to land it on. I'm going to pick up my landing pad. And I just pick it up like this. 
put it underneath, put it down, and I hold it. That way I get no kick up, no wet, no fuss. I carry it inside, not a big deal. And I carry these all over the place or anything. I really don't like landing on the gravel or any smooth surface that I don't have control over. You never know the last couple of feet, it'll just slide or flip or do something. So anyway, bring that camera up. Stop that video. And put it underneath, it goes up. And left one down, and it comes down slowly. And I just make sure the pizza box is right underneath it. And it stops. There we go. And what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna check the PIDs. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we stop that. That's okay. So let's go that way and stop everything and see if I can go like this and do it. Here we are. And we're just going to go PIDs. And those are the PIDs from the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro. Okay. Does it make a difference? I'm gonna go in and find out and let you know. So there you go, what do you think? I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Saturation may be out a little bit, but I thought it wasn't bad. Depends on how you're viewing it and what you view it on. I view it on a large screen TV, I view it on a large monitor, and things look a little different on each one. I've looked on the laptop, it looks a little bit different. But So what did we really change? The only things that really changed was the center line of PIDs, and I'll put the PID one up here. The new PIDs I put, same as here, put them on here. The only difference is that center line, 1.2, 0 0.12, and 2.5, that center line. Changed it from 0 0.8, 0 0.06, 1.5. So the center line is the only thing that changed. But to me, it made a huge difference. And I think now, I may be flying this more often if I get some nice weather, and we'll test that out. I don't like it when it's overcast and uh, stuff after the rain and that, because the EV values change all the time, and it's a, it's a pain in the butt. But anyway, the Hubson Mini. And if you notice here, okay, why, and here's a question for you. Why does this have a sticker on it and these two don't? The answer is in some of my videos, okay? Just a little, little puzzle for you there, okay? Get out, get some fresh air when it gets better and uh, play with your dogs. Play with your cats. Have some fun. Bye now.